Okay, let's start the question. So for those who are new, okay, uh, go to my bio, click on the my link, right? The last button, go to my Telegram channel. So tomorrow, Sam will upload the PDF as well as the uh, upload the TikTok live we play onto the YouTube channel. Okay, so that's the last button. Then if you click on the second last button, you will go to my YouTube channel whereby you can see the past TikTok live. Okay, so there are quite a lot of uh, so-called free math lesson, free math videos on the YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe. Okay, come, let's take a look at these angles. Calculate the values of x. So look at this one. So we know that this is on a straight line. Huh? Well, use my ruler. This is a straight line. So last lesson we learned that angles on the straight line is 180 degree. So of course students know oh, 70 degree. Straight away they write answer 70 degree. Huh? But they say show your working clearly. And most importantly is you need to state the reason. So what I'm going to do is I can say okay angle x. I take 180 degree minus 110. So the thing is, oh, why do you use 180 minus? Because it's angles on a straight line. So in this case, this statement here, you can put here, angles on straight line. Okay, so 180 minus uh, 110 is 70 degrees. So angle X is 70. And remember to update your diagram. So this one is 70 degrees. So angle Y very straightforward already. Because when you update the diagram, you know that, oh, out of these three angles, which is in the side of triangle, I already know two angles, so you will find the third angle. So you will say, okay, so angle Y is just 180 minus 35 and minus 70 degree. Okay, so just take 180 minus 35 minus 70 and that gives you 75 degree. Eh, hey, why I write percent? Ah? Oh, I'm going to, maybe because I want to use my new correction tape. So I bought my pen as usual. Ta -da! I brought my favorite pen from my usual uh, Lazada online shop. So this time around, they give me a free gift. So good, so cute, right, the correction tape. So I'm gonna use it now, quick. Let's see whether is it good to use. Quick, not bad, huh? Someone is so mini. Cute. Okay, so 75 degree. And again, what's the reason? This is because it's angles in a triangle. So we will say angles in a triangle. Okay, so that's for these two. Uh. Angle sum of triangle. Also can, uh, but usually I just write angles in a triangle. Okay. Okay, next question. Okay, parallel line. We always read the question. Okay, C, D, E is a straight line. Okay, acknowledge. They said that it's parallel to A, B. I ah, got the arrow already. Okay, if they never put the arrow, you got to put. And then after that, and then additional thing is you see these two marking, it means that this is an isosceles triangle. So they asked me to find angle B, D, E. B, D, E. So this one is the question mark. You're supposed to find this one. So I have, last lesson I've mentioned, alternate angle. Wow, teacher May is here. You know teacher May? How you know teacher May? I cannot see there. My phone, my phone was, my phone TikTok a bit soft soft already. Eh. Now luckily I got my, my PC one still looks fine. Okay, so this is parallel line. So alternate angle. So last lesson we mentioned about alternate angle, right? So we will say angle. <laughs> May, you're so popular. Eh. She's on the top right. Yeah, I saw, I saw her. Okay, so angle, you will have to say this, huh? angle B, D, E, angle B, D, E is equals to angle A, B, D. Angle A, B, D. So why is that? It's equal is because of alternate angle. And you got to state the parallel line. In this case, is A, B parallel with D, E. Okay, la, since you know teacher may teach primary school, you can actually, if you have any relative who teach, uh, who, who want primary school tuition, you can ask uh, teacher may. I just asked someone ask whether I teach primary 5 or not. I don't teach, but teacher may teach primary school. Huh? Okay, so over here, this one is 55 degree, and that's the answer. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So angle, again, update our diagram. So now no more question mark. I'm going to put, yeah, I should, should, should cover that. So now this is 55 degree. Yes, this is normal tech math angles, but it is applicable for normal care, also applicable for express, uh, because you all learn angles as well. Angle BDA, where is it? BDA. So I need to find this angle over here. Uh, this one is easy, why? Right? Because this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. Okay? <laughs> okay, so you will say angle BDA is equal to angle ABD. Yeah. A, B, D, A is equal to A, B, D. A, B, D, which is equal to 55 degree. Reason you can say is isosceles triangle. Actually, I always never spell out. I write isosceles triangle. Okay? My, 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 cons, my, my thinking is, my reasoning is, uh, as I got right better than never right. Okay? A lot of students never even write. Okay? Elf noodles. Wow, thanks, huh? You student right? They can send me so many gifts. Ah. So cute like you. Thank you leh. I never expect gift from students because students bolui right? No money ah, poor thing. I got I only got nasi loma and uh, 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 ice cream. Okay, but not bad lah. Your your students also give me uh, nasi loma and ice cream. I'm very happy already. Okay, so this is fifty five degree. How is it, Nora? Do you do well for your MYE? Angle ADC, where is ADC? ADC is here. Hello, you are new here. So have you joined my TikTok? I'm oh, sorry, have you joined my Telegram channel and my YouTube channel? Okay, just go to my bio, click on my popular link, and then there's a lot of button you can click. And then the last button you can go to the Telegram channel. Second last button go to my YouTube channel, okay? Huh? Why? Teacher Kenji, when are you teaching EMAF O levels? Well, I think quite some time. Like, now I'm teaching like individual, individual. Alright? Yeah, so coming up June, I have a crash course, right? You all should know. Like, I keep posting videos on my crash course. So later 9.15pm after this TikTok live, 9.15 we have a Q&A session on the crash course. So anyone who want interested in the crash course can actually attend the crash course. Huh? Nora, then you need to watch more video. Why you still feel math? Uh, Nora, what level are you at? I have math homework to do. Da, 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 da. Show your working ADC. So I will say angle ADC is equal to 180 degree minus 55 minus 55 degree. Angles on the straight line. Okay? So it will be minus 110, so it will be 70 degree. This is angles on straight line. Ayo, sec four. Okay. If you still fail in sec four, you need to find you need to find a solution. Huh? of course, I have a lot of uh, free math lessons on the on the TikTok. I mean, on my YouTube channel. Please go and go and watch it and blah blah blah. Huh? But if you really need someone, but if you really really teach need someone to actually uh, help you see where where is your weak points and everything then you have to sign up for tuition of course can come to me lah but i, I don't i don't like to hard sell okay you want to come to me come to me don't come to me it's okay also but go to my youtube channel and go and consume all the free stuff ah. do teacher may teach math foundation uh, this one i have to wait for teacher may to answer your question okay math foundation is pslre got uh, standard maths and foundation maths ma okay so yes, I, I recently I picked up two students who is in normal acad. Last time they took a uh, foundation map. Yes, it's a bit challenging for them, uh, but I I, I tell I, I tell them that uh, as long as they are willing to put effort, okay, they are willing to teach, and then after that, uh, of course, eventually they will they will they will get there, lah. They will get there. Yes, I do private tutoring, of course. TikTok Live is just my. Uh, I do it for for free, but of course my full time job, whereby I need money to eat, right? Ah, uh, food uh, buy food uh, uh. So I teach full time, uh, math tutoring. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next in the diagram below, 
I'm teaching angles now. Okay, in the diagram. Uh, please, uh, if you have any other additional inquiry, please go and click on my link or whatsoever and ask me. Okay, let's focus on these angles. I'm only assigned one hour to teach this. Uh, I got no time to answer other inquiries. Uh. Uh, don't ask me how much and blah, blah, blah. You want, you go and click my link and go and find out. And then after that, come and then uh, ask for in the proper channel, uh, not here. Uh. Now is, we are learning angles, okay? So, giving your ang reason, find angle ADC. ADC over here. So look at this one, you have an isosceles triangle over here. So 34 degree, so these two is the same angles. Huh? So what we're going to do is angle A, D, C will be 180 degree. You minus the 34, it will be these two angles. Then you divide it by 2. Okay. I already teach ratio a uh, few lessons back. Please go to my YouTube channel and take a look. Huh? Okay, divide by 2, so I get 73 degree. And this one is because it is isosceles triangle. Huh? 69? Did I... I press wrongly, man. Who sabo me? 73 there. Who tell me 69? Is this for NA or NT? Uh, this question is for NT though, but of course, it is still applicable for NA and Express, okay? Okay, let's continue. Update the diagram. This is 73. This side also 73 yeah, because it's isosceles. They want BAC. BAC. So they want this angle over here. So if you notice, uh, this is also, this is a big triangle. Ah. Although you see two small triangle, but there is also a big triangle. Okay. Okay, big triangle. Uh, Chur can don't so fierce or not? I'm very fierce, man. Oh, you cannot block already. I'm so sad. Okay, I know that you will got block. Okay, so triangle over here. So three angles add up together to be 180 degrees. So this angle will take 180 minus 73 minus 42 and minus 34. Okay. Yeah, my moderator very efficient when I tell you. She's he or she ah uh, uh, got two moderator uh, moderator. Uh, they see anything. Offensive, ah, uh, uh, they, they block you already. Too bad. Uh. Then you will be blocked. Cannot see my content forever. Eh, what's this? Calendar. So cute. Okay. So I will say angle BAC take 180 degree minus 34 degree minus 73 and minus 42 degree. So this is because I use the big triangle angles in a triangle. Okay. So you will take 180 minus 34 minus 73 minus 42. And that will give us 31 degree. Okay? So this is for this question. So basically this worksheet are mostly about triangle. You can see this is the topic for triangle. So you can see that a lot of topics, a lot of uh, reasoning is all about angles in a triangle, isosceles triangle, you know. The previous one is more on parallel lines. Okay, the, the, the one that last Wednesday we did it. Okay, it's more on parallel lines. Come back to here. Find the values of the unknown angles in the blah blah blah. So now I only have a 44 degree over here. So your task is to find this W. Okay, how do you find the W? W. Okay, so let's work, work it out. Ah. So over here, last lesson I also talked about vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. So we will do this one first. So you will say angle DEC. D E C is equals to angle F E G. F E G. Why? Because it is vertically opposite angles. Okay, I don't teach that one, thank you. Okay, so that will be 44 degree. So this side is 44 degree. So I want to do this one, right? And then do you see these two marking here? So this is an isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangle is Okay, uh, isosceles triangle is the base angles are equal. So we can know that this side is also 44. Huh? So this W, I will say angle W will be equal to 180 minus 44 minus 44. Oh yeah, why I write so high? Huh? Okay, I OCD. Huh? So I'm going to shift it. So you will say this is isosceles triangle.
Okay, 180 minus 44 minus 44. So this is equals to 92 degree. 92 degree. Ah, so, did I miss? Oh, it's like, did I write, did I see wrongly? I said, oh yeah. Not, <laughs> not drawn to scale. Because I was like thinking, eh, why this W so small but my angle is 92? Ah? Yeah, a bit small but it's not drawn to scale. Ah? Not drawn to scale. So we are still correct. Ah? We are still correct. Okay, come, let's continue, huh? let's continue. Okay, now start to increase a little bit of difficulty. So there's a lot of like triangle and then you have three unknown inside. You have the Z, you have the Y, you have the X. So you need to find them accordingly, okay? So let's see what we can do first. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I can find this over here first. This one, huh? ah, I can find X first. This triangle. So we always try to work with the existing one. Uh. So 47 and 29, you see, uh, H, J, I. H, J, I. So we can actually take 180 minus 47 minus 29 and we get angle X. Uh. So we will write angle X equals to 180 degree minus 47 degree minus 29 degree. So we have 180 minus 47 minus 29 and that gives us 104 degree. Okay, so this is 104 degree. And of course, the reason angles in a triangle. Oh yes, Z is 65. So, since you tell me Z is 65, can you tell me what is the reason as well? Because many students know, oh, I know how to find the answer, uh, but I don't know how to write the reason. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, uh hey, hey, huh? Uh, hey, hey, huh? You write 65. Can you tell me what's the reason? What should I write? So, we know that angle Z over here, we will say is equals to HKJ. Angle H, uh, HKJ. KJ. Which is equals to 65 degrees. So, what is the reason that I have to write here? Yeah, alternate angles. Well done. Okay. Alternate angles, and you got to give me the pair of parallel line. Can you tell me what is the parallel line? Oh, you, I noticed that there's one missing. Uh, I mean, as in there's no alphabet here. Uh, so we can actually put H I J K. I'm can put L here. Okay, give me the pair of parallel lines for the sixty-five degree and the Z. What parallel with what? Anyone, 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 anyone. H, L, and J, K. Well done. H, L, and J, K. Good. So is it? And um, let's update. So this is 65. Wonder what? We left with a Y here. So who can solve the Y? Ah, easy. Here you see. If you update the uh, uh, diagram with the angles that you found previously, it will be easier for you to find other angles. So angle Y is pretty straightforward. So angle Y, how should we find? Angle Y equals to what, what, what? And what's the reason? Wow, 16 roses. 180 minus 104. Well done. 180 minus 104. And it is straight line, yes. Angles on a straight line and it will be 76 degree down okay 47 plus oh, that's the exterior angle right 47 plus 29 is equal to 76 also can that's called exterior angles of a triangle okay so, uh, sometimes angles may not be just one way. La. As long as you use the correct property, eventually you'll get the correct answer. La. Okay, let's move on. Hopefully, we can finish the triangle should be can. La. I prepared 10 questions for the triangle. The next one, we will be focusing on quadrilateral. Whereby we have a, a parallelogram, la, trapezium, la, and all these things. Okay? Next, find the values of x and y. Ta, ta. Okay. Uh, this one we can use the one just now that one student actually said. Uh. 
angle Y, you can actually use it. Okay, angle Y is equal to 46 degree plus 108 degree. Okay, these two add together is equivalent to here. So this one is exterior angles of triangle. So 46 plus 108, that will give us 154 degree. So here is 154 degree. Now this is parallel line. Last lesson I talk about parallel line. So these two, what do we get? These two add up together to be what? And what's the property? So we will say angle X equals to 180 minus 154. And that will give us 26 degree. So this is parallel line. So they add up together to give us interior angle. Huh? So this is called interior angles. And the parallel line is, uh, okay, they don't have alphabet. Okay, there's also another shortcut to do it. Huh? You can say it's parallel lines. Okay. Teacher Kenji is revising for IGCSE. So actually along the way, Actually, I, I, there are there are certain there are certain methods and stuff like that I learned, and then after that, uh, it's it's helpful like, It's helpful, yeah. For those I will share, I will share for I will share to those who actually attend my O level crash course, I will share share to them some some methods which I find it eh, pretty nice. Okay, move on. Eight, two, only eight question man. Did I miss up printing? Hmm? Okay. So actually this triangle only has eight questions. I don't know why. Maybe I miss up printing one. Okay, never mind. Next one. Da 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 da. I saw this triangle. A C B C B D. Okay, they put the marking here for us. And then we have 28 degrees also stated there. So my task is to find CBD. CBD over here. Easy. Isosceles triangle is here. Here is 28. Here is 28. Huh? So we will say angle CBD is equal to 180 degree minus 28 minus 28. Okay. Which is 1, 2, 4. So we can say this is isosceles triangle update the diagram one two four next is they want to find angle c a b c a b is over here okay so although we know that uh, uh kids you know that this is 180 minus this one you get this one this one this one is equal uh. so some students say oh straight away they take 180 minus one two four and then they say it's the answer but you need to go you need to explain a bit more. Huh? You cannot suddenly jump. Huh? So let's find this angle first. So you will have to say angle CBA. You will say angle CBA is equal to 180 minus 124, which is 56 degrees. So this side is 56 degrees. Then this one you will have to say this is because it's angles on straight line. And this one then you will say, oh, so angle CAB C A B is equal to angle C B A, which is equal to fifty six degree, and it is because it is isosceles triangle. Okay, so you cannot suddenly jump and uh, although we can see that huh, we can see and easily we can find out what's the angle, but it's about the 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 the, the logic and the presentation and the reasoning huh? So this is question eight. Woohoo! Thanks for the rose. Okay. I never see any last dinner today, but better not lah. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten my dinner. Tonight tonight I will have super late dinner. Leh. After our TikTok live teaching, I will do the uh, the crash course uh, QA, then after that, uh, I can only eat after that. Now we're going to angles in quadrilateral. Okay. Hey, you very bad. Leh. Send me food. What's that? The, what's that food before the ice cream? Huh? I cannot see that. Is it pizza?
<laughs> oh, I cannot see your sense more. Uh, so cute. This one end at uh, nine nine o'clock. Then after that, I will take a fifteen minutes break. Then nine fifteen, uh, I will come back for Q and A live session. For those who are interested for the crash course for June, EMAP and AMAP, you all have questions to ask. Uh, what what does it consist of? Blah blah blah. Everything. Uh, you can come and ask me during that half an hour. Uh. Okay, let's continue. We need to find angle X. So this one is a parallelogram. Okay, they already put in the parallel lines for me. Okay. So, 110, they also put in X. So, Z. X is easy. It is just the Z. Uh. So, you will say, angle X is equals to angle PST. PST. You will say, this is 110. Eh, eh, eh. Why write dollar? See lah. Not, never eat. is like that one. Wait lah. 110 degree. So this is alternate angles. So we can write this is parallel lines. So update, this is 110 degree. Next, they want angle Y. Yeah? Angle Y. Angle Y is over here. So it means that I need to find this angle first. Easy, because parallelogram. So let me summarize the few properties of parallelogram. Huh? NDO, uh, uh, what is it got to do with my life? Okay, so parallelogram, uh, so opposite angles are equal. So if this is 110, this side is 110. This, this angles and this angles is also equal. Okay, and two pairs of parallel line means opposite sides are equal. Uh. PQ is the same as SR, I'm talking about length. Uh. And PS is the same length as QR. Okay, and also because there's parallel line, right? So there's a lot of interior angle. These two angles add up together 180, these two add up 180, these two add up 180, and these two add up together to be 180 degree. Yeah? Yes, so now I will say that this is 110, we know. So we have to say angle QRS, QRS is equal to angle QPS, which is equal to 110 degree, and you will say the reason is Opposite angles of parallelogram. Parallelogram. Shortcut, uh, shortcut. Parallelogram. Okay? So, we're not done yet. Uh. We only say that this one is 110. Uh. Our task is to find this angle Y. Okay? So, we will say angle Y. See, this is angles at a point. So, you will say 360 degree minus 110 degree. So, you get 200 and... 50. Ayo, why I write 40? So 250 degree and this reasoning is angles at a point. And we are done. Yes, correct, Damien. Angles at a point. Huh? I think just how you will ask me why is there any shortcut to remember things. Uh, you know, even when I'm doing my, you all have to know, you all have to learn and know how to do revision. Uh. Like teacher Kenji now doing IGCSE revision, right? So what I do is I have a notebook in front of me. Okay, certain things that we can we, we already know is like inside in our head automatically we know things that I know that I cannot remember or things that I, that I need I need to refer before the exam. I will write it on the notebook. So like for example, if I, I want the formula, let's say I cannot remember this particular formula, uh, that I, I know that I will forget or I want to refer to it before the exam. Then I'll write in my notebook, I'll write the title, i write the, uh, the, the, the formula and then after that, I know that oh, before the exam, I just need to just flip that notes. You know what I mean? So you all need to learn how to uh, revise. Then as for you asking me how to memorize formula and blah blah blah, if certain formula is uh, have to memorize, so you just have to write it somewhere where it's handy. So before exam, then you refer to it. Long. Uh, no point you memorize way way beforehand after that after that you forget right okay okay the figure below is made up of a straight line and a rectangle okay find the value of x and y so let's see da -da -da -da. okay i work from the 115 first let's find this angle here so because this is a straight line this is a straight line so this one you see there's no alphabet ah so you can give your own alphabet ah you can label this as A, B, C, D, E, 
and F. So you will say angle uh, A, B, E. So angle A, B, E is equal to 180 minus 115. This is angles on straight line. So 180 minus 115. Thanks for the light. Yes, Damien. I mean, although it's a bit like fake, what right, right? Ask you to just write down, but it's really, really, really just the that's the only way, lah. Huh? Most important is you you know that this uh, formula you always forget, and uh, then you write somewhere and uh, all consolidate in a in a book or in a note or in the card whatsoever. So at least when before the exam, you will just refer to it. ah, then at least it's fresh, ma. How many pages are we looking? We are doing 10, 10 questions. Okay, or until nine p.m. See which one come first, lah. Huh? Okay, so this is 65 degree, so over here this will be 65 degree. So here, you want to find angle, why? Because this is a triangle, right? Uh, triangle, three angles add up together to be 180 degree. So you will say angle Y, or oh, angle Y is here. Let me find where's my angle X. Oh, angle X is here. Oh my angle X so far away. I need to find Y first what? Never mind. Sometimes we have to jump jump a bit like that's a method. Let's find angle Y first. Huh? So my angle Y is 180 degree minus 50 degree minus 65 degree. Okay, sometimes cannot see straightforward level. Might just see what you can see. Huh? Then you work from there. So this one is also 65 degree. So this is angles in a triangle. Angles in a triangle. So angle Y is resolved. Update 65 degree. Okay, angle X. Okay, over here you see, uh, this is rectangle. Rectangle, automatically this is parallel line. Uh. Automatically all these are parallel line. Uh. Rectangle. So, over here 115, so this one interior angle, we can find this angle over here. Okay, so let's find angle B, E, D. So, angle B, E, D is equal to 180 degree minus 115 degree. Okay, and that will give us 65 degree. You want to use alternate also can, you see? Alternate also can. Huh? I use the interior angle. So I will say this is interior angles. And since I got alphabet, I say BC parallel with ED. BC parallel with ED. Then now angle X is on the, this one straight line ah uh, straight line ah uh, straight line. So we will say okay angle X actually can come never mind angle X will be equals to 180 degree minus 65 minus 65. So it will be 50 degree. This is angles on a straight line. So this is done. So you see, uh, although I find Y first, then I find X, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, it's not important about the sequence. Sometimes it's uh, what you see, then you just write first. It's okay one. Uh. There's no say uh, must A, B, C. We sometimes can go A, C, then walk to B, right? Okay, let's move on. Okay, the diagram start to get increased a little bit. This is a trapezium. So far, we haven't handled any trapezium. So what is trapezium? Hello, good evening. Okay, trapezium has only one pair of parallel line. Okay, it only has one pair of parallel line. Okay, so this is the pair of parallel line. And they say AD is parallel to BC. Da -da -da. Let's see, 42 degree given, 75 degrees stated there already. So they asked me to find ang angle X. So angle X is here. Huh? So see here, they mark here my isosceles triangle. Huh? So we know that this one is 42, this one is also 42. Huh? So you will say angle X is equal to 180 degree minus... Oh yeah, I'll go up again. 180 degree minus 42 minus 42. So 180 minus 
So here is 96 degree. So this is isosceles triangle. Okay, isosceles triangle. Huh? Sure, you can use interior angle by the which one? Where? You for this one? This one cannot use interior, you know why? Because this one is not parallel line. Ma. No, cannot, Ryan. For this one, cannot. You know why? Because AB and DC is not parallel line. AB and DC is not parallel. Take note, ah, trapezium, you only have one pair of parallel lines. So you have to be careful. This and this is not parallel. So this and this angle is not 180. Ah. It's not. It's not. Ah. Only this and this is parallel because this is two parallel lines. Or this and this is parallel. Okay, so to find x, you cannot take 180 minus this and minus this. Right, I think you are referring to angle z. I think you are referring to angle z. Can you see? My x is at the angle d there. The z is angle b. So I never look at the wrong one. So if you look at the wrong one. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now angle Y. Angle Y is over here. So I have parallel line. I can use Z. Ah. Z. Z. Ah. So we will say angle Y is equal to angle DAC. Angle DAC, which is equal to uh, 42 degree. So this is alternate angles. And is AD parallel with BC. So, y settle, 96 settle, we need to update. So, this is 42 degree. Now, we left with a z. So, z, I can have two ways of doing it. Huh? So, just now Ryan mentioned, right? This is a pair of parallel line. So, this and this is interior angle. So, angle z, you can take 180 minus 75 minus 42. You also can find z. Okay? Then another way is, you see, there's also a triangle here. There's also a triangle here. These three angles add up together to be 180. I also can take 180 minus 75 minus 42 and take the Z. Same, same. Huh? It's the same property. I mean, it's a different property, but it's derived the same answer. So it's fine. So let's just use the one that Ryan actually mentioned just now. Huh? So we can say, okay, angle Z is 180 minus 42 minus 75 degree. Okay. So 180 minus 42 minus 75, I get 63. So 63. So we can say this is interior angles and the parallel is also AD and BC. So AD and BC. Done. So we settle this. This question look familiar. I think this this question before. It's quite similar lah. Actually trapezium, how 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 different type of trapezium can they draw? Right? And alternate Z, actually all the questions are always similar, right? Only the numbers are different. Okay, let's move on. Good. I hope you get it right during your exam. Oh, yo. Why, why, why? Attend more of my TikTok live. Okay. Uh, go and consume the free, 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 free. Actually, students very cute one. Uh. Okay, I mean for those uh, more diligent, uh, more, more diligent one, uh, you all can always refer to the, the, the YouTube channel and get a lot of free, free, free lessons, right? Yes, 23 and 19, I hope you do well. Okay, then you all have to find a tuition tuition teacher, right? Ah, and don't say you want to come, I will accept you. Huh? I don't accept everyone. Huh? Not everyone I will accept. Right? If you come in and expect magic uh, to happen, uh, I also don't want to accept you. I only want students who generally want to uh, put in effort. Okay, you give me zero marks also, never mind. I don't want students who came in with zero marks. I also take him. It's fine because I want to see attitude. If good, 
you got import if you got good attitude learning attitude i will take you but if you come in and then give me attitude i don't want to do this don't do homework don't want to listen here don't want to listen there don't 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 don't, don't waste time 23 and 19 well done continue so last time if you fear now you got a pass so now you can move on to getting better at the math huh? I need to prepare for IGCSE. Also, same, same. This Friday, I will test. My exam is on this Friday. Okay, let's continue. Okay, stating reason, clearly find the value of P. Da, 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 here. So, I only have 40. Again, you see, uh, trapezium. I only have one pair of parallel line. This one, Z. So, angle P is straight away 40. Uh. So, you will say angle P is equals to angle E, F, H angle EFH which is equal to 40 degree and this is alternate angle is because of EF parallel with HG update yes no ah. okay then after that uh, Q because this is isosceles triangle so Q is just same same ah. So you will say angle Q is equal to 40 degree. Reason, isosceles triangle. Okay, no need to put equal. In. Update. And now, you see, angle R easy already because this is angles in a triangle. Huh? Yes. Nora, I hope that you will not, uh, you will not give up. Huh? Although you say you fail your math. Huh? Continue to try, okay? Okay, some students say, I have failed already, don't want to try already. Uh, if you have that mentality, giving up means no hope already, uh, of course what? But of course, if you continue to uh, to try, even if you study, only you only manage to do a few more topics, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so angle R is equal to 180 degree minus 40 minus 40. So it will be 100 degree and this is angles in a triangle. Done. Nora, right? I don't know how to pronounce. Nora is wrong. Nora. Okay. Next question. Nora, not pronounced as Nora, man. Okay, let's continue. Okay, angle X. I bet it will be blocked. Oops. In my school, my teacher said the reasoning is angle sum of triangle. Is this also correct? Yes, it's also correct. Nora, not. I don't know how to how. I don't know how you're going to tell me how to pronounce that name, lah. Uh, never mind. I just know you as Nora, lah. <laughs> pronounce as Nuru. Nuru, ha? Nuru? Nuru. <laughs> now, are, are we having English class now? <laughs> okay, continue. Angle X. So, it's Nuru. Okay, angle X here, Zack. So, angle X will be equal to 32 degree. It is alternate angle again. Parallel line PQ. Nuru. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Nuru. <laughs> PQ. So Nuru, I hope that you will continue to try harder and make sure that you can pass your O level. Okay, parallel with SR. So this is 32. Angle Y here. Okay, angle Y is here, so easy, it's a triangle. So you see, uh, by now uh, you can see that all the angles is always similar. Okay. So now angle Y will just be 180 degree minus 32 and minus 45. So 180 minus 32 minus 45 and we get 103 degree. So this is angles in a triangle. So Nuru, you say that what you want to ask angle sum of triangle is also the same. For me, it's always right angle in a triangle. Uh, it, like I said, uh, Better than not writing anything, huh? How to improve A math? I got 48 and 90. Good. Congrats that you actually passed. Okay. Again, math is all about practicing. Okay. 
uh, there's no miracle that can happen. Sure, I'm taking N levels. Oh, okay. Then, uh, oh, okay. You can, uh, can lah. Uh, N levels should be easier lah. Uh. Okay, no problem. You can do it. Do the TYS, do the past year paper. Okay, and some of my topics, Express one also actually uh, is relevant to normal and CAT topics. Uh. AMF, please uh, continue to revise your whatever topics you need to uh, practice. But you don't blindly practice. La. I mean, sometimes you don't say, don't say that, oh, you don't know. You don't. Okay, okay, AMF, one thing is, uh, you all try to, when you do, you have to understand what you are doing. Uh. Don't memorize by heart and then just write exactly what you see from the previous question or see from the solution. Okay, it doesn't help you. Because if the question twists a bit, then you cannot handle the question. So don't practice blindly. You can write 10 times, 100 times, but if it's just by memorizing and not understanding, eventually when it comes out a similar question, you cannot do it. You understand? So learn by understanding, okay? Then when question twists a bit, you know how to handle it. Huh? Okay, let's move on. Okay, wow, this one's so cute. I'm a quadrilateral with two pairs of equal adjacent sides. My diagonals are perpendicular to each other and I carry only one pair of equal opposite angles. What type of quadrilateral am I? Okay, this is a special uh, quadrilateral that you all seldom see but it is legit. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special quadrilateral. So these are equal. This and this is equal. These angles are equal. So let's see. Uh, I have two pairs of equal adjacent sides. Two pairs. One pair, two pair. My diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Diagonals means from here, dot, 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 dot. So they are saying that this is perpendicular to each other and I carry only one pair of equal opposite angles. This is the one pair. So this is a special polylateral named chi. Okay, you all know trapezium, parallelogram, right? Ah, chi. Okay. Yeah, it's a kite. I got A for my MIA because I got listening class and study at home. Yes, I mean, uh, even teacher Kenji, although I'm a teacher Kenji, you see, I still have to revise for IGCSE. Never, never, never take things for granted that, oh, I'm very good at math, I definitely cannot. I still study every chapter. Okay, next. Find the values of the unknown angles in the following diagram. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, we can be overconfident, and then when we are overconfident, then we think, ah, we no need to revise, we no need to do, I can blah blah blah, you know what? But never, 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 never uh, go into that. Okay, being overconfident. Even if you are overconfident, you feel that ah, of course I can, I know it, I know it. But I think it is still good that you still do your revision. Okay, because you still need practice. Okay, long, 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 long time ago, teacher Kenji uh, have this mistake where I'm so confident uh, of this uh, particular topic and then I never even do any practice. So all I do is I look at the notes, so I look, look, look. I never do that. I just look, 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 look. See, oh, like that, huh, like that, huh, like that. During exam, I tell you, I blank out. Because I never write, what? I never practice writing, I never practice doing the question. I just use my eyes power and look at the question, look at the solution. It doesn't help, thank you. It doesn't help. Okay, I've proven it. It doesn't help. You have to really do it and practice. Okay, by looking at the solution, ah, understand it doesn't help at all. Okay. Yep. Yes, it's a quadrilateral, so all angles add up together will be three hundred and sixty degree. Okay, find the value. Find the value of the unknown angles in the following diagram. Thanks me for uh, being my assistant teacher here. <laughs> find the values of the unknown angles in the following diagram. State your reason clearly. Okay, so angle X here, straight line. Huh? So angle X will just be 180 minus 125. So we will have 55 degree. And this is angles on the straight line. Polygon, four-sided, you know, sum of interior angle is N minus 2 multiplied by 180, right? So, four side means 4 minus 2, which is 2 times 180. That's why all quadrilateral, which is four-sided, has 360 degree. I'm from Singapore. Okay, so this side is 55 degree. Okay, 
So angle Y over here. So you see here, uh, one, two, three, four. This one got nothing, uh, see here. Uh, this one got no like parallel line, nothing, uh, no interior angle, no nothing. Okay. So it means that these four angles, because it's a quadrilateral, all angles add up together to be 360 degrees. Okay. So my angle Y, you will say 360 minus 55 degree minus 119 degree minus 41 degree. Okay, so 360 minus 55 minus 119 minus 41 and that will give you 145 degree. So this is angles in a quadrilateral. So this is 145 degree. Done. Lisa, you are late again, huh? The PDF only upload tomorrow, ah. Uh, eh? The, even today live also will not, will not be uploaded today. You only upload tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, let's move on. Question 8. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Find B, C, D. Okay, angle B, C, D. B, C, D. So because here got parallel line, right? So you should know that this one's sum of interior. Sorry, not sum. This is interior angle, ah. Uh. So you will write angle BCD is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. So it is 130 degree. Yes, interior angle. Well done. In the, uh, 23 and 19. Why is it 23 and 19? Are you 23 or are you... You, are, you, you shouldn't be 19 also. Leh. Okay, interior angles. So parallel line is AB parallel with DC. Thanks for the light. Update, update diagram, ah, 130 degree. Next, they want to find reflex. Reflex angle DCB. DCB. So DCB means 130, right? But because of the word reflex, that means they want the big one outside. So to find reflex angle DCB, I just need to take 360 minus this. 2319 is my favorite number and my real name is Glenn. Okay, don't test my memory. Today I learned, uh, only if you frequently appear in my life that I will remember your name. Like I have some students, uh, Minecraft, La Rafael, all these I remember. Okay, Lisa, all these, because they keep appearing. 23 and 19, let's see whether I can remember you. Uh. If you often appear in my life, then I'll remember you. So 23 and 19 is Glenn. Let's see whether I can remember the next time or not. So this one, reflex angle DCB. I will have 360 degree minus 130 degree. Okay, 360 minus 130, so we have 230 degree. So this side is 230 degree. Oh, 23 and 19, you are new, huh? I'm going to go and play around with my TYS after this. Play around, not, 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 not uh, work hard with your TYS, huh? Uh, after this, 9.15, I have a, a Q&A session, Q&A session. Whoever who are interested to ask me questions about my crash course in June can stay back and ask me questions. Uh, not stay back, sorry. You go and have a break together with me 15 minutes. Did you can need toilet break? Uh? Then after that, come back here. Lum, Luma, Lumana, Punya. You are new here? Yes, we have to write angles at the point. Okay, angles at a point. Next, lastly, angle EDC. EDC, EDC over here. Okay, I can already see Zach. Zach. So it will be angle EDC will be equals to 30 degree. This is alternate angles again. So it will be AE parallel with DC. Done. Thanks for the video on changing the subject. I scored it. Wow! Okay, my students, when they come to me and tell me 28 over 30, after benefiting or whatsoever, then I will ask them, a very naughty one, then I will ask them, where your two marks go to? Careless, is it? Okay, but well done. Ah. I, still have to, I still have to praise you and encourage you.
one yes and one no okay so one yes is careless one mark is no so where the one mark go to changing subject ah i know already you forget to put plus minus am i right okay uh can i see question 8c with ah can Question 8C is angle EDC, which is here. So it's alternate angle Z. So 30 degrees. Alternate angle AE parallel with DC. You want to write AB parallel with DC also can. Huh? Okay, let's move on to the last two questions. Oh, 9903 oh, I'm going to speed up. Uh. Okay, what is the special name of this quadrilateral? Okay, so this is uh, four sides are equal and it's quadrilateral. Four sides are equal and it's slanted. Uh. So this one automatically we know that it is a uh, rhombus. Rhombus. So rhombus is like a slanted parallelogram but with equal sides. Okay, so easy. This is SEC 2 normal tech question but it is equivalent to SEC one express or set one normal acad no i don't do everyday life i only do wednesday and sunday last question for the night okay later 9 15 we will do q and a for those who are interested in the crash course ah huh? come and ask me question if you want to parallelogram okay they tell me abcd is a parallelogram for this question they did not put in the arrow ah huh? so i will always put in the arrow to remind myself of parallel lines okay 110 they put in already they tell me ce equals to de okay they already put me put for me the marking so my my task is to find angle cde cde so i'm supposed to find this angle over here okay so how are we going to find this angle over here anyone okay so this one actually what you need to do is you're supposed to find here first because i want to find this one first because we know this is isosceles triangle ah, and this is opposite angle so you can find this angle so let's find this angle first dcb so you will say angle dcb is equals to angle dab dab which is equals to 110 degree so this one is opposite angles of parallelogram okay so here is 110 degree then i can find here ah uh, find here so you will say angle dce D C E is equals to 180 minus 110 because this is a straight line. Angles on straight line. So this is 70 degree. Now I can find here already. So therefore angle C D E is equals to 70 degree because it is isosceles triangle. Next, they ask to find CED. Is it really because I already have the two base angle? Okay. I can find CEF, CE, huh? Where got F? You always challenge me, huh? Okay, CED. So my angle CED, angle CED is 180 minus 70 minus 70. So it's 40 degrees. So this is angles in a triangle. Done.